United States found itself in the Vietnam War, life for U.S. citizens changed and they had a choice to either support the war or protest it. Valdosta State College students and faculty experienced both. In 1966, Affirmation Vietnam swept the campus. This was essentially an organization run by students that was in support of the war. However, VSC's president, Dr. Thaxton, reported how the draft caused unrest among the male students that led to vandalism around campus. He also reported how the war caused an influx in enrollment. The college newspaper, Campus Canopy, often had articles relevant to the war such as Father's Letter, which discussed how the war was affecting families with relatives in Vietnam. Other articles, such as War Tax Resistance, examined ways the U.S. citizens could resist the war by refusing to pay taxes. By 1969, the feelings of support on VSC campus started to dwindle down. The campus joined the nation in the Vietnam Moratorium, which was the first politically oriented movement of this nature at Valdosta State. This movement was meant to demonstrate that people were against United States involvement in the war. Even though the majority of VSC was in support of the war in the early years, as the war dragged on, unrest among citizens grew, the disapproval of U.S. involvement swept the growing campus and the number of those who opposed the war grew substantially. 